morning. We would like to welcome you to the 2016 CIAA post game wrap up. We are joined by Johnson C. Smith University, led by head coach Stephen Joyner Sr. Coach, if you could introduce your student athletes that are joining you and open up with some additional comments about tonight's game. Um, I'd like to introduce themselves and a friend of mine that I'm in, and uh, I may forget her name, but then I will come back and get some comments starting with you. Um, Zay Senior? Senior. Okay. Joshua Linson, Senior. Stunning Lemon, Senior. DeAndre Pratt, Senior. Alondra Davis, Senior. What you have before you, Senior Leadership. Uh, of our club this year. Uh, they are responsible for uh, getting us to the first place divisional uh, uh, title. Uh, certainly, uh, Tobacco Road was Tobacco Road this year. There was a lot of uh, dog fights like you saw out there today. Um, and uh, I'm very pleased that these young men were able to lead us uh, to that. It shows their growth and development over there, too, or three or four year career uh, that they had, and uh, we're very pleased that they came to Johnson C. Smith University. Uh, uh, hats off to Livingstone College. Uh, we thought we had at least once or twice. Uh, one of the things that I think is, is quite evident, that is a, a, a ball club that is very, very mature. They do not quit. They do not stop. They find a way to win, and they did that tonight. The floor is now open for any questions or comments. If we could please ask the student athletes first so they can be dismissed. Whoever wants to take it, I mean, I know it's certainly, one of, certainly a di difficult, uh, difficult ending to your collegiate careers, but I mean, you just talk about how this fact that that Salisbury, where Living So is located, is so close, does that really intensify the rival rivalry as far as you guys are concerned? It definitely does. It definitely does. Uh, a team, a team that close to you, uh, you know, you want to go and go out and get that win. But I mean, every, I mean, that's every team in the tournament. Uh, you know, any team that we would have faced, you know, it, it would have been the same thing. You know, just go out and try to survive. You know, the huge disparity in the bench scores. If you have to lose Coach Wells well for Smith, that was one of the factors. Can you, can you guys speak to that and how their depth probably helped win this game? I don't. I don't think. I don't think that their bench was, uh, was very important in the in the game to me. I mean, I, I think our bench guys came in and played hard. I mean, we just got to play. Uh, I feel like we just got to play a little harder. You know. Uh, you know, our bench. You know, I, I think they came in and gave us some good help there in the end. Uh, so I mean, I don't. I don't really think the bench really was a big factor to me. Thank. Thank you, student athletes. You are now dismissed, and thank you for coming to the CIAA 2016 postgame wrap up. Cannot ignore the emotional level of the ball game, uh, and certainly I have to give credit to Livingstone. They were the most emotional, mature group on the court. Uh, our guys panic at times. Uh, you know, we miss free throws. We normally a good free throw shooting basketball team. Uh, even though they shot more than we did, we were 21 of 32. That's not a good percentage for us in terms of what we try we try to do. Uh, we outfield goal them. Uh, so the only way that they could be in the game or beat us was get to the free throw line. They did that consistently. Yeah, you, you, you did go 15 for 22 in regulation, but between the two overtimes, it was six for 10. I mean, that had to, obviously has to be very frustrating. Very frustrating. They outplayed us in the last overtime. I scored us 12 to six. Uh, you know, by that time we got we got tired. I think Herb's question is is appropriate. Uh, our bench didn't give us much tonight, especially when our starters were struggling. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, Stedman Lemon struggled tonight. 
uh, Pratt had uh, found it, began to score and had uh, 22 points, but Pratt struggled uh, a lot tonight. Uh, and so therefore our bench didn't get in and help us out. We had too many people to file out. Landre ended up filing out, that hurt us. Uh, I was surprised that we were able to play the overtime without him, uh, but we did. Had opportunity to win, but we didn't, we couldn't pull it out. Have you ever been a part of any any game which had so many bizarre twists and turns, you think, between the end of regulation? I'm sure and I have, but I can't think of them right now. I'm sure I, I have. Uh, but it's the kind of game that you don't want to be uh, involved in and you don't want to have to go back and recollect about. Uh, again, uh, this was a game I thought we had them beat uh, uh, in the first overtime. Uh, and certainly we let them get back in and had our opportunities in the second overtime, and especially uh, regulation and we just didn't make things happen. So that is very frustrating. I know it's frustrating to them. Uh, I'm gonna try to hold my composure uh, so that they can hold theirs. Uh, I'm very, very proud of them in terms of what they do because if I can pull out for you a measuring stick on growth and development, I can show you leaps and bounds about, about them. I can't show you on their record and I can't show you tonight, uh, but those youngsters grew up back there tonight. But that certainly does bode well for your your returning players to play by my count. You have, you have at least 10 players projected to return. Circumstances will. And so, I mean, that, is this one of those teachable moments that say, okay, maybe a form of motivation for the returnees? No doubt. I mean, you got to know how to win those games. We put in a young man at the end of the ball game, a center. He went in and got a foul on posting up. Got to learn how to play in the moment and play the way the referee. Will. Uh, a call. He made one up. Uh, he got fouled. He made one free throw. We would certainly right to like to have both. But yeah, we do use it as a teachable moment, uh, especially emotional maturity. You know, sometimes we don't speak about that. We talk more about these things, these statistics, but there's no kind on here for emotionality and emotional development. And uh, I think that's a kind that we'll talk about from now all through the summer, uh, through next year, and try to use it as a teaching moment. This concludes this session of our post-game wrap-up. We would like to thank you for joining us, and we wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors.